Hi everyone, I'm so happy you're here today. We're gonna do the pinwheel technique and we're gonna make a different type of card called the book binding. Hi Stampers, this is Dawn and today we're gonna use this cute little turtle bundle. Oh my gosh, it's so adorable. And we're gonna do this pinwheel technique. And then we're also gonna do this book binding form of a card. And I got both of these ideas. Actually, they refresh my memory. This one was a swap from my friend Patty Chanel. And look, she gave me a puffin on a little wobble. But look at that pinwheel, so cute. And then this card I got from my friend Susie Wood as a swap in Hawaii as well. And look, they both use the puffins. And then this is the card where it shows the book binding type of card fun fold. Isn't that cute? All right, so we're going to put both of these together and make this card. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so these are all the pieces we're going to use. This is the pear pizzazz. This is cut at four and a quarter by 11, and we're gonna score this piece together. Then I have a piece of the designer paper. This is in the, I believe it's in the subtles pack. It's double-sided. So you're gonna need a piece cut at four by four, and then also a piece of basic white cut at four by four for the inside. And then the same designer paper in the pear pizzazz is cut at one by four. Then your two little squares here are cut at two and five eighths, square. You need two of those. This is creating the pinwheel part of it. And then also a piece of basic white, again, three by three square. And then you're going to need eight little squares cut at one and a quarter by one and a quarter. And I'm using the early espresso and the crumb cake. So I cut four of each and they're all the same size. So you can split them up. You can make them all the same color. I just kind of split them up like Patty's card was. How she did that different colors there. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our paper trimmer. All right, so on our 11 inch side, we are going to score at five and a half and six and three quarter. That's it. So we're gonna fold on our score lines. Let me get my bone folder. So this piece right here, the five and a half inch score line right here is in the center. And then your six and three quarters is going to be for the front flap. So you get that book binding illusion to this fold here. So let me grab my stamp and seal. And we're just going to seal up the base of the card where that book binding section is at. Just going to fold that over. And then this section right here is four and a quarter by four and a quarter square okay so this is where the designer paper comes in you got your four by four and then your one inch by four right there so let's go ahead and put these on okay now let's go ahead and build our pinwheel so we're going to take our two pieces of the pear pizzazz cut at two and five eight square and i'm just going to put adhesive in the center on one piece and then we're going to build this section here. We're going to put it at a diagonal on the bottom piece, like in a diamond shape on the top, but then the square piece is on the bottom. Okay. Then we're going to take our eight little squares, the one and a quarter squares, and we're just going to put adhesive only in the top corners on all eight pieces. We're going to take our crumb cake and I'm going to lay this right into that point, pressing down the adhesive on that one section right there. So this section right here should not have any adhesive on it. Then we're going to take our early espresso and press that into the next corner. So you're using the points to add all your squares. So then this one is a crumb cake. Our last square, we're going to tuck it under the first one. Here, let me turn this this way. Make sure I got my point right there. Just swiggling it underneath that last square, just like that. And there's your pinwheel. Isn't it cute? Oh my gosh. All right, now we're going to go ahead and stamp. So I have some basic white, and we're going to use our Memento ink. And I'm 
going to go ahead and stamp. Now, this is the stamp set we're using. Turtle Friends. Isn't he cute? So we're using the, the large turtle and then also the small turtle. And then also both of their shells for their body. And then also we're using You Are Turtly Loved. And then Happy Birthday on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp my turtle. Stamp him right here. He's so cute. I'm going to take the Granny Apple Green Classic Ink and we're going to stamp his shell right over top of his shell on his body right here. So I'm just going to try to line this up without putting my head in the camera. <laughs> okay, then we're going to go ahead and grab our basic white piece for the inside. Since we have our inks out, we're going to go ahead and stamp our happy birthday. And I have the happy birthday right here on this side. I'm using two images. I'm stamping the You Are Turtly Loved. So I'm going to stamp the happy birthday in the center of our 4x4 piece. Then I'm going to grab my little turtle. This is from the same stamp set. I'm going to stamp him up here above the birthday. Then grab his little shell, stamp that inside his back. Okay, and then we're going to grab our Granny Apple Green Light Stampin' Blends marker, and I'm going to go ahead and color in our turtles. We're going to take our punch. This stamp set comes in a bundle with the turtle punch. So we're going to go ahead and punch out the large turtle. And then I have also another piece of scrap. We're going to cut out and stamp this. You are turtly loved. Just going to stamp this right on the edge of the scrap. I'm just going to go ahead and hand cut this out. Just going to angle cut the ends. I'm going to put dimensionals on that. This is going to set across our larger turtle on the front. And then we're going to put dimensionals on the turtle. Here. He's so cute. Let's set him right there. Then we're going to take our greeting. You are turtly loved. <laughs> then we're going to put this right onto the front, but first we're going to put it onto that basic white piece, this three by three. So I'm just going to set that right on top of there. So we're going to grab our stamp and seal again. This makes the, the little embellishment here pop up from the pear pizzazz from all the green that we're using. So it gives a little bright contrast to the front of the card. Okay, so we're going to put this onto the front. Right there. Then this is going to go on the inside. Remember, this is the 4x4 four four piece of basic white. So cute. And then for the top corner here, I put a little linen thread bow right here. I've already tied it. And I'm going to attach that with, you can use the liquid glue. I'm going to use a glue dot. So let me go ahead and grab that. I'm just going to grab a little glue dot. And I'm going to roll the glue dot between my fingers just to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to put that right up in the corner. Then take our little linen thread bow. Set that right in the glue dot. Just like that. On my finished one here, I did use the crumb cake 
Stampin' Blends marker and I added the little ground right here so the the turtle isn't just floating around in the air. So I didn't bring that marker over here, but I wanted to show you that. But isn't he cute? Oh my gosh, I love this stamp set. And this card is so fun. You're using the book binding design of the card for the fun fold. And then of course the pinwheel design. So cute. And then also, if you have any questions, please let me know. And if you like today's video, give me a thumbs up. And then don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you'd be notified when I post a new video. Okay, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Bye.